Okay guys, okay guys, okay guys, okay guys and gals, we're here again. Welcome to another moment with Cooking with Min and Meg and um, we're in the kitchen again for another crisis cooking and um, our series continues. This has to do with the corona, coronavirus outbreak and the food ration where people are hoarding food and storing away and when you go to these supermarkets and stores and pharmacies you can get absolutely nothing at all in these stores and so we have to return to base and look at what we have in our refrigerators what we can find in the pantry and that's how we're gonna we intend to put food on our table. My greatest concern in all of this is are really the elderly, the children and the animals, especially the indoors indoors pets, because they can't go out and fend for themselves since they're not in the wild. And so we have we our greatest thrust now is to see how best we can get food on the table and as soon as we come up with a contingency plan as to how this will work out we want to share with you guys and the name of this series is though there are no fruits on the vines that's the name of these series crisis series so yeah what did we find today in the refrigerator use what you got okay so what did we find in the refrigerator today? We found a bit of salmon. So yeah, this is a bit of salmon. Um, we try to cook where the family can have a part, can share into this meal. And if you have animals like cats and dogs and ferrets and animals like those then of course um, rabbits of course they too can share in i'm not so sure about reptiles i don't do reptiles i'm afraid for snakes and so i don't do them but um these ends bits and pieces of meat you can always just like cut them off before you put your spices and seasoning on and you can retain those for the animals like the um, dogs and cats and so um, the rest of it you can just like divide up for the family if you have enough you can always retain some for two days or bones and pieces like those you can use for soup and so that's exactly what we're going to do today. We're going to use the bones and the middle parts here for soup. And so we're going to take off the, just the outer portion. So that's what we're going to do right now. So these outer portions we're going to use in a dish. And so do you see how this would work out in the crisis? This is retained for... Um, soups and broth, broths and these are for kitties and, and um, cats and dogs if those you have those pets and this is for the family meal okay those three pieces so that's what we're going to be doing okay. we have already gone ahead and wash we're going to remove these we've gone, re gone ahead and wash these salmon And I'm wearing gloves, you know how finicky I am about seafood on my hands. What we're going to do now, we're going to um, season. We're going to season, okay? So let's go. Before we even continue, we're going to use these little bags to store away the remaining of the fish that we intend to put away for broth and for the pets and everything. So I'm going to put those away to keep them fresh. And so in this little sandwich bag, we're going to we intend to use it tomorrow. 
So the sandwich bag is really good. So we're gonna just put these away in the sandwich bags, bag and put this away to keep it fresh, okay? You wanna keep everything as fresh as possible if you intend to reuse. Okay, so that's exactly what we're doing now. So we're gonna go ahead and um, put some sea salt on. We have some peppers that we've used, some spices that we've used in the past. And it's just a whole bunch of pepper flakes, parsley, um, peppercorn. It's a whole bunch of seasons that we retain. And so we're going to use some of that on this. We have some paprika, we're going to put on some one just lightly, sprinkle some paprika on, not a lot, just a little paprika. And remember this is crisis cooking, so this is how all these seasonings come into play. We stored them away in the past and now they came in handy where we can use them in our dishes when we, or when we don't have. Okay, because that's basically what is happening right now. We just don't have. Okay, so we're gonna put these over here for 10 minutes, and then we're gonna put them in, put it in the refrigerator for 10 minutes to saute a little bit, and then we're gonna come back and chop some onions. Okay, because now we don't have garlic anymore, so we're gonna use some baby onions, and we're gonna chop these. Okay, when we come back. Okay, guys, so. We have some cold water, water here and we also have some golden potatoes, they're cold. They're small, they're sweet and so we're going to put a couple of them in this water where we're going to wash them eventually and use that, those also as a part of our meals. Alright, we're going to go ahead and pick out some of our baby onions. Pearl onions, they're called. Okay. They're really sweet and they're they have the good. Alright, so we're gonna wash these to make sure they're clean. Okay, and then we're gonna chop them. We have some asparagus that we've had for a while <laughs> and it's so surprising, they're still good. So we're just going to go ahead and trim them and we're going to leave these parts for a broth or soup or something. So in these times you don't throw away anything at all, you just like use everything just, just to survive. That's where we are right now. Everything is in survival mode. So we're gonna go ahead and wash these asparagus and leave it right. Now that the asparagus are washed, we can put some salt on. Okay. And those are ready to go. We're gonna go ahead and wash our potatoes and then we're gonna cut them into okay to go with this dish so you want to make sure you get off all the debris and strings that are on your potatoes make sure they are clean so we're going to rinse them and, and they're ready to... now that the potatoes are ready we're going to cut them trim them and then we're going to cut them in two pieces okay 
Or you could do them in three pieces too. If you prefer, if they're big, you can do them in three pieces. We're gonna put some, that's just a bit of oil on. sea salt some dried rosemary and if you don't have the green one which we don't have much anymore just a dry one so that's a good also we're gonna let that just sit for a little bit that we have and we kept it it's very hard and when it got very hard we put it away in the refrigerator Mar uh, bam, <laughs> market pantry so this is very very hard but we just know that there would come a time where we're definitely going to need this we could not get breadcrumbs and so we put this away and so we're gonna grate this
Okay guys, so this completes the dish. This is the dish. This completes the dish. Okay guys, so that completes the dish. And this is another one of our um, Russian crisis dish, um, of course. And um, it is so easy to prepare. We had that salmon sitting down. I took it out once to, to cook and I never did get a chance to do it. And I put it back in the refrigerator and I kept forgetting about it. I had those um, asparagus in the refrigerator for about a week and I took them out to cook and I never did get a chance to do them. I was just too tired. Then we had those potatoes um, over three weeks now and I took them out to cook and I never did get a chance to cook them. came in handy where we're in this great crisis and we need to prepare these dishes because there ain't nothing, nothing out there nothing in the supermarket nothing in the stores nothing in the corner stores nothing anywhere you cannot find anything out there guys and so we're going into the, the pantry and the refrigerators and we're finding things that we can cook and so um, this is a meal for about I would estimate that about three or so persons. We were we were able also to um, secure a, a bit for the doggy and the kitty, and um, that's a complete meal. So um, this is how these dishes are going to roll going forward. And so we want you guys to go out there and try this dish um, in the coming weeks. And until this COVID-19 um, crisis is over, we want to come, we want to, you know, do this kind of series. Though there be no fruit on the vines, um, we will trust God. It's just basically that, you know, and um, I know a lot of people are panicking. Um, I, we visited the store and just never found anything again today and there was one place that we went to but the lines were so long and the same confusion so we walked away we never did get to purchase anything and so we are every meal that we do for ourselves and for our family we'll take that same opportunity to film it and to share the ideas with you guys so um this is dinner so yeah that's where we're going it's such a pleasure for us to always come back here and to share our ideas and our experiences with you guys we want you guys to go out there and try these dishes and not only so especially so in this here crisis with this um corona virus Everybody's afraid to go out. Everybody is just like grabbing and dashing and it's a lot of craziness going on. Everybody's afraid, so afraid. Nobody can, can't go to restaurants and anymore. Restaurants are closed, shops are closed, um, schools are closed, and everybody's just so afraid to go out. You gotta go into the pantry, guys. You gotta look in the refrigerator. You gotta see what you can find in there. And you gotta utilize what you have in those um, secured places that we touch away thing. And um, yeah, um, hopefully this crisis will, crisis will be over soon and life can return to normalcy. But until that time, we're gonna make do with what we can find. And we want you guys to come along on as we prepare these fantastic dishes okay yeah until we meet you again don't panic come back here for another preparation as we work through these crises and as we um, pray one for another until we see you again ciao la bella 
Ciao, la bella. Tata, see you soon. Take care and be safe. Bye-bye.